Saturday night, and we're live, shocking. Hiding behind all of our thrift store finds. We may have bought one or 400 things. This <laughs> there's, there's we made two lot. trips, and we spent about $100 on everything we're gonna show you tonight. And if you watch all the way to the end, we are going to be showing you the new IOD knob topper stamps used. Ooh, careful. Deb said to be careful. It could all come down. Used with the Flexi Stamper, which is brand new. And we're going to show that at the end. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Hold on. <laughs> I'm coming up close here. So it looks like a lot, a lot of stuff, but really it's all just really small items. They're all like 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar. I mean, there's some that are like three, four dollars, but I don't think we spent maybe a hundred and ten dollars on. No, we spent a our... hundred because we bought some things that aren't here that weren't uh, like. Sometimes we buy just stuff that we need at the thrift store because who doesn't love a thrift store price? Like this thermos for what was this? Three dollars. Well, I feel like oh, sometimes two dollars when you put stuff out to the universe that the universe provides, and I was like, we need some thermoses for hot cocoa, and we found that one. That's Zeb's. It's giant. I also, that one was what, $2? That one was two. This thermos was $1.50. It's actually vintage, so, and it's cute, like Christmas plaid. So I might actually sell this one because I'll show you in a minute. I found another hot cocoa cup. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the camera and bring you guys a little closer so you can see it better. All right, move it closer and you can see, and this is a little chippy from what, like the 70s, you think? Mm, Probably 70s. Maybe, maybe 80s. Cocoa cup. I think it's cute. I would keep it, but I think it'll look really Christmassy in the shop. So it's going in. In fact, Monday, we're going to go in the shop and we're going to get started on the new display. And I'm going to pull out everything that's spring. And everything that's spring is going to go in my closet. And I'm only going to keep out stuff that fits with my color scheme. So this will work good. Monday's going to be busy. Monday, we've got to... It's the, day, the one day that we work that the shop's closed because we don't work on Sundays. It's like our one day off, we observe the Sabbath. So Monday, the shop is closed. So I've got to get the display in there, get the old one out, get it built, get it painted. Jamie will probably paint it. She's the one that makes oh, it one day. Um, I'm going to be shipping in the morning when you get started. <laughs> and we probably need to paint all of these things too. That, we'll might, ha see that if, might happen Tuesday. Yeah, we'll see if this happens. All right, so if we're going to get through this, we got to start going. Moving on, I found this cork board. And it's just pretty plain, it was $2. I'm thinking paint it white or black, maybe like a chalkboard. And then I'm going to uh, use the wreath builder, the IOD wreath builder stamp in the corner. And you can still use it as cork board, but then it'll look cool when it doesn't have, it's not full of pictures or but whatever you got corked. on there. it's not corked. Zeb bought that. I don't know what its vision is for, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. That was a Zeb pick. Sometimes, sometimes my visions don't work out good. This was a Jamie pick. How much was this one? This one is three dollars, just a little shelf, but it's made out of solid wood. So, and it has corbels, like metal corbels. Yep, it's got the metal scallop. corbels and three pretty cool knobs on there, so. Can't. This is like a twenty-four ninety-five shelf painted. And it was only three bucks, so yeah. I feel like that's crazy. Can't lose on that one. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, Jamie got this for me on Wednesday. Oh, Zeb present. He likes hand tools. How much was that one? This one, I took the tag off of it. It was like two dollars. Two dollars. Yeah, just a, just a bit and brace, old school what drill. You, oh, it's a drill. I didn't yeah. know what it was. I just know Zeb likes hand tools, and so anytime I find him at the thrift store, I buy him. I figure if he doesn't want them, I could always sell it at the shop. We have a little Mantique area. It's reversible, so you can go forward and, forward and back. You know, I'm, you guys are super excited about this, I know. <laughs> Seb's excited. He loves it. It needs some work. It's, How it's old a, do you think that hand tool is? Um, I don't know when they stopped making them, but I don't think... We, you might be able to still get them, but I haven't seen them like new 60s? on the shelf anywhere in a long time. I'd have to look. I don't know what Zeb model it is. Know. I don't know off the top of my head. I just get them and make them work good again. Oh, Catherine's on. Um, Catherine, we go to a thrift store in Utah called Deseret Industries. It's run by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's a huge church here in Utah, and they have tons of Deseret Industries. Like, every city has their own. And we usually go to the one in American Fork. That's where all of this yeah. came from. And on Saturdays, I'll give you a little tip. Maybe I shouldn't tell us because all my Utah people are watching. On Saturdays, tons of people drop off and tons of people oh. shop. So... The carts, they bring out the carts of the new stuff really regularly, and I feel like my hauls are better on Saturday because I went on Friday and I spent like 30 bucks. 
but then we went today and we spent like $70 because we found way more stuff. So Saturdays, if you wait too long in the day, that it's done. Yeah, but about like midday. Midday, Saturday is a really good time to pick. So if you're local to Utah, don't stop buying up all the rolling pins. Yeah, we can't find. We did get one rolling pin. You know what we, else we can't find? We so those stocking holders from a few weeks back that I told you guys I was gonna spray white sold like in two seconds at the shop, and now I can't find them anywhere. So if you have a shop and you need Christmassy stuff to sell, if you can find little stocking holders for like a dollar, spray them white with a DIY white swan, white wet distress, done. You can sell them for $7. All right, on with the pick. This was $1.50. Jamie's probably gonna paint it white. It goes with her little angel theme. It'll hold a candle in the back of it. Not very big, about six, seven inches, but. It's got a little hymn book. I thought it was Christmassy. I yeah. got a little angel section. So that was $1.50. How much would you sell that for once you get it all painted up? Or are we going to keep that for our Christmas stuff? Let's see. Um, what? How much the would angel? You, yeah. Oh, that'll be like $6.95. I'm not keeping that. Okay. So we've got a little $1.50 birdhouse. It was actually intended to be painted. They give you a little demonstration on what you can do with it. This was $1.50. What is this? Like nine bucks? Um, are we going to paint nine, it white? Nine, nine ninety five, and it will probably like stain it first because it's really light and yeah. then paint it white because cool. it is solid wood. It was from a craft store originally. Somebody never crafted it. Oh, and Ka Katrine Edelskoff just wanted to say that Zeb is doing really good pronouncing Swedish words in our Ikea haul. Sweet. You know why? Because we shop at Ikea a lot. So I feel like we're almost Swedish and you're like <laughs> of Scandinavian descent, no? Yeah, a lot of a lot of my family descended out of there. Scandinavian and Viking. <laughs> so I it comes by naturally. Look, olive tree. We're extending the olive branch. We got this little potted olive branch in this terracotta pot. It was two bucks. It'll get painted white, probably. Maybe a little chippy something or other, but just the pot though, right? You're not gonna paint the plant. Yeah, no, the plant will stay. I'll tape off the dirt and then I'll does it come out? No, no. The, the dirt's I'll paint like... the I'll paint the pot. But the thing is that like, well, I won't air hose it off because it's dusty. But this, all of plants are really popular. And um, if you were at a high-end boutique, that'd be like 20 something dollars. We're like a middle of the road boutique. So it'd probably be like $12.95. All right, so these trays have been fun. We've Since we've been doing all the stamping with the IOD products, this was $1.50. Probably get painted white, stamped something on the bottom. Sell it for $14.95 yep. once it's stamped and painted. Um, Zeb's specific words to me were, get things you can stamp. I think he's obsessed. I love stamping. I love this. It's like, it looks like signage to me, like branding on like grain sacks. I uh, love old grain it. sacks. If you haven't been to our website recently, go to jamierayvintage.com because the stamps are going fast. In fact, today some flexi stampers came in. So if you pre-ordered, those are mailing out this week. Yeah. Small little cutting board with a crack in it. This one was, it doesn't have the tag on anymore. I think it fell off, it was like 50 cents. Perfect for stamping a farm animal. I already have a sheep in the shop, so maybe I'll do a cow. Yeah, we stencil a lot of those too. They work really well for signs and things like yeah, we're that. We're waiting on essential stencils. Should Any day now we should be having our Christmas stencils and we'll do that. And if you haven't been to the website, we do have one Christmas stencil on our website. It's a cool, old truck with a Christmas tree in the back and it's a big stencil but you could just do just the truck and the tree on something small. We'll probably actually have a video of us using that here pretty quick like I would say let's shoot for Wednesday or Thursday somewhere in there. Wednesday or Thursday? Well Monday and Tuesday are already shot yeah. so. <laughs> Maybe Friday give us them. All right this was a dollar just a wooden bowl with four dividers you know you get your chips and things going on your hard candies for Christmas out on the coffee table perfect. How much would oh, you sell it for? There's an ad. There's an ad in the middle of our video? Yeah. Awkward. Weird. That happens a lot. <laughs> Awkward, there was an ad. Okay, so, do 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 do. How are you guys? Are we gonna paint? Yep. Well, we're gonna be stamping. It's kind of like painting. We're gonna show you how to make your own knobs with a knob topper stamp. It's gonna be exciting. But that's gonna be at the end. Once we get through our haul, then we're gonna be making knobs. So I'm not sure what you would put in this. Maybe like, I don't even know. I don't know what you would put in it. If you know what this would hold or, or a good idea for this, it'll probably get painted white. It was a dollar, just this little uh, little chicken here. But Zep, Zep found that. I didn't even see it and Zep found it. Somebody asked, oh, let me see, hold on. 
uh, Christina said, how do you get the clips off the paint? So you need to use a small flathead screwdriver, stick it under the clip, flip up, or needle nose pliers. I prefer needle nose pliers because if you use the screwdriver and you're prying, sometimes that'll pop a hole in your lid right there where it seals. And you know, if you're not careful, then you got a hole in your lid, so. Okay, needle nose pliers it is. Zip, you are like really. You keep crossing your leg, I don't well, know Well, I'll why. just cross my legs the other direction. Okay. <laughs> okay, got a wooden bowl. Looks like a shop project dollar for this. Another little uh, candy dish holder. I like to clean them and then use real stain on them. It makes them look gray and old and stuff. Okay, we've got some tarnished tarnish silver. silver. Haven't bought tarnished silver in a while, but sold about four pieces of tarnished silver last week. So I felt like it was time. And for two bucks, it'll sell for like $12.95 in the shop. And all I have to do is wash it. So a lot of times these are stamped on the bottom with like a maker's mark or something. This has no stamp on it. So probably I'm guessing low end or not it's real. It's high end. I only put high end in my shop. It's heavy. Yeah, it, you know, it's weighted. It's good. Got it a good won't weight blow away at the picnic. I feel like people are starting to buy the tarnished silver because they clean them. Like they don't get rid of the tarnish because you want to keep that, but they wash them and then they use them for like Thanksgiving. Mm. So they're getting their Thanksgiving tables ready and they love serving dishes. And we have a ton at the shop. So people come in and they get really excited about that. 75 cents, Jamie pick. I'm not <laughs> sure. It's $3.95 all day long at the shop and it's cute. I like to have things in the $2.95 and $3.95 price range because sometimes people want to come and just buy something but they don't have a ton of money. And as long as I don't have to do anything to it, it's a good markup. So this is just a pig cut out. Can't talk, watch out for that. It's got glitter on it. It's got some glitter. It looks like it's, it's got a little bit of grease on it too. So I don't even know where it's been. Probably we'll get a good sanding and then we'll stamp something on there or stencil something on here. And I might, this is definitely like a authentic drawing. So I don't, I won't feel bad if I replicate this and like use this as like a template. It's pretty cute. Um, Christina says we both look skinny. Oh. Are we on the keto diet? No. And God bless you. We're now BFFs. For me, I think it's the V neck. The V necks always make me look skinnier and I don't know why you look skinnier. Oh, you have been working out. You've lost four pounds. I've been working out a little. Yeah. <laughs> I have lost zero pounds because I have not been working out. Here's the thing. We've been traveling a lot and we've been so ridiculously busy because when we get home, we're behind because we've been gone. And it's been like fast food city for us around here lately. And Let's be man, honest. I eat fast food all the time. I eat more than Zeb. I am bad about it. I can't. I she's it. got like a metabolism of a 20 year old still. Yeah. And I eat fast food and it's like, hey, how you doing? It's like hangs out on my lovely handles. <laughs> All right, chicken time. <laughs> now that we're done talking we, This about. is a rooster. People always, not, not everybody, but sometimes people are like, hey, that's not a chicken, it's a rooster. It's in the chicken family. Uh, she, Kristen from She Paints is on. She says, LOL, um, you aren't giving up ice cream. No. In fact, Kristen, let me tell you a story. We wanted to drive to get Thrifty's ice cream today, but we didn't have time. It takes us 45 minutes to get to Park City. That's where the ice cream's at. And we take a giant ice chest and we buy 10 half gallons at a time because it's my favorite ice cream. And we didn't have time today. And now you said ice cream and you made me think of it. <laughs> but we're still friends. You guys, She Paints on here has a YouTube channel. She's also a DIY retailer. She's a friend of mine. So check out her channel. All right, enough plugging. I just want to say the bird was $1.50. <laughs> We're gonna paint it apothecary and wet distress it. The rooster was $1.50. All right, I'm gonna get this mm -hmm. out of my way. Ooh, Soulful Essence also has a YouTube channel too. So guys, check that out. I, I know some of you guys have it, I might not remember, but Soulful Essence I remember because we're friends on Facebook. All right, so this is painted cream and it's dirty, but it's already a little chippy on the feet. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it, which usually happens in the shower. And, um, and then I'm going to distress it and seal it. I do that a lot. If I find pieces with a good paint job, it was $4, it'll sell for $24. If it has a good paint job and a color I like, I don't repaint it. I just clean it, distress it, and reseal it and put it in the shop. So this is a tiny little... It's a baby bunt pen, but bunt it looked pen. older to me because it's chipping. The you know, when you shop at the thrift store, sometimes you get bonus old cake. 
I mean, look at that. It's in every one. I feel like we should have paid more than $1.50 for this with that bonus cake in yeah, there. Yeah, if we get hungry, there's 20-year-old cake in that pan. Ooh, 20, you think? No, it's probably not that old. I don't think I it would have made it. I that old of a pan, but the paint was chipping off the bottom. I just thought it was cute. I just, and I think it would be really cute to organize in an office, you know, to put all your little, like, paper clips and things in it. I just touched it. It's still greasy, so I doubt that these are 20-year-old cakes. I don't know. But it's we're going to wash it. We have a really good dishwasher with a sanitized cycle. Yeah, it's going to hit like... Bonus old cake. <laughs> so this I found today, I'm super excited because these are so darling in bathrooms. You can put your jewelry in them. One dollar. Or like a little soap dish. Soap dish. Sterling silver. You could put your paint pixie soap in there. If you don't know what that is, check out our website, jamierayvintage.com. Just throw plug, that out Plug there. in the website today. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> All right. The one I rolling pin we found, it's giant. I found it on, it's, <laughs> that's how we measure all things by Zeb's forearm. You can see that his forearm is much larger than mine. So <laughs> if we're measuring and we say forearm, just think his, not mine. I used to know the length of my forearm because uh, back in my sword building, <laughs> back in my it. sword building days, you know, you, you need to know those kind of things for balance. This rolling pin is big. It was $3 and I normally sell them for $10.95. I usually only pay $1.50 to two bucks. So this one is probably gonna be like a $13.95 rolling pin. All right, this is a park lane clock. It's had an unfortunate accident. There's a crack here and a crack here. And when they glued it, they didn't wipe it off good. So the glue is super crusty. I'm probably gonna leave it painted just like this cause it's got like some good distress and white and just chisel that off if I can and get rid of that. This was 75 cents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I found it. So I feel like I did pretty good. Yeah, you won on this one. Um, how somebody much? Asked, somebody asked a question though. I gotta answer it. Answer it. She said, is Wait, it Sterling? Wait, who was it? Living the good life says, is it Sterling silver plate or how much was it? So how much was a little dish? The little dish was a dollar fit. Oh, it's a dollar. A just dollar. A dollar. And I would say plated. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think we get any like solid Sterling silver. No. It's usually plated. And we keep it tarnished. We don't polish it because people love the patina on it. Hold on just a second. Um, what? Oh, Catherine, what we do with the rolling pin is we just paint the handles and leave the, and we clean the center. And then we use food safe, like butcher block oil on it. And then on the handles and it looks cool. And we have a whole bowl, like a big bowl of rolling pins in our shop and people buy them all the time. So this was $8. Fun Beth little says it's wobbly. It is wobbly. Let me show you. Look at this. So what's happened? I'm probably not going to do a whole video, so I'll tell you real quick. This little retainer here where the screws are in it is cracked in half. Probably someone put too much weight or something on there or used it to get Somebody up. Somebody sat on it. That's so, something I would do. So I what, sit on stuff that I shouldn't. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'll just take that off re-glue a new one, make sure the dowel can go in the center there, and then screw that back down. And that should, because this is cracked, I mean, it's bad. I'm not going to be able to save that. And that, that should work. I'll just replace that little ring part. I'll probably cut it out with my jigsaw, then drill a hole the right size to fit the dowel in the center, walk away. Bam. Um, it was $8, and it'll sell for about $24.95 in the shop. They usually sell very quickly. That's a really popular... Um, size and style little side table so it's a fun little basket napkins whatever you know something on CDs. the counter does anybody ever have cds anymore yeah, I haven't dvds bought a, i haven't bought a cd or a dvd in quite a few years i would say doodads and such could go in there it's a dollar fifty it really bothers me that that slides down so i'm actually going to think i might have you weld that okay because that irritates me and i think it might irritate somebody else too yeah so that's going to get a little spot of weld. We'll probably leave it black. It was a dollar fifty, probably around like eight ninety-five. Amy Jolly says, "Great finds. I need to hit the American Fork Ti. You can hit it, but leave some stuff for us because we what will we what will we do on Saturday Night Live? <laughs> this is neither vintage nor for the shop. I just needed a hot cocoa holder. She got jealous of my awesome thermos, so you know. I was gonna buy one at the store, but I found this one for two dollars. I think at the store it might be five or nine dollars. I don't know how much these cost, but two dollars was a good price. I'm gonna put my hot cocoa in it. When you're rolling through the thrift store, who doesn't need a bag of lemons? A bag of lemons. Because when life gives you lemons, you save them till springtime. These are actually. They're like legit, well made. How much was this? I was. Two bucks. This was. It, was, I mean, it wasn't priced, and the gal held it up. I think we got it for a dollar fifty. Oh, okay. 
She held it up to the manager in case you're wondering what it means. Yeah, when, sorry. When they don't have a price on something, the manager's right there and they're like, hey, so and so, how much for this? So $1.50. It came complete with, I've been packed in with a lot of uh, other lemon indents. Yeah, we'll be washing them. I'm not gonna put the lemons out. In fact, I have some other lemons in the shop. Everything springy is gonna go away, but what I like to do rather than waiting till the season hits, I will buy stuff that I want for the next season and I have this huge closet. We actually call it, should I tell them? Jamie calls it the dead body closet. Because it's so big that if you needed to hide a body, you could. And stuff goes in there to die, like... Yeah, it goes there sometimes... to die till the next season. So it's huge, and so I will store my seasonal stuff in it. So I'm going to put everything spring in there so when January hits, I can roll it all out. So this was $1.50. Just fun little tray, centerpiece. You could put a lot of, like, foliage or something in there. A bunch of pine cones for winter. What if we paint it red and put pine cones oh, in I'm it? Oh, I'm gonna paint that, that navy. It's beautiful. We're gonna leave it navy. You I'm know what? I'm gonna distress it and I'm gonna seal it and I'm gonna put pine cones in it in the shop. A lot of you commented on our last video. We asked what your colors were. A lot of people do like navy and White, blue silver. colors for Christmas. So yeah, I love it. Know. It's wood. Somebody did a very good job painting it. So I just figured take my orbital to it because it's like a really matte chalky type paint. So. All right. Ooh, I'm excited about this because. I've gotten Homer Laughlin pottery before, but this one I think is older and I love the coloring on it. I think that green's gonna look really pretty since we're getting ready for Christmas. It's got a little, it's got some wear. Someone actually used it, but. It was $1.50 and I don't know how much it's worth. So if you know Homer Laughlin, comment. If you don't know Homer Laughlin, you'll be like me and I'll just Google it later. If it's not worth a ton, then it'll probably be $12.95 because that's what I sell. All things that I don't know what to price at. Twelve ninety five. It's like the middle of the road. Two dollar jar. This would be fun, filled with like mints ornaments. or something. Ornaments. Ah. So I was thinking I'd put ornaments in it because we have lots of ornaments in the shop. And then. Oh, you know you. Or could do you them. could buy them. The DI has them. Sorry, yeah. I say something. I was just gonna say you could do like the balls that you like put on the Christmas tree. What are those called? That's what I was talking about. Ornaments. I don't really think those are ornaments. Like ornaments, I think of like little stuff like they go on the tree what do you call what goes on the tree like darth vader ornaments and <laughs> yoda ornaments <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not putting darth vader and yoda in here i'm gonna put glittery ornament balls those are back of the tree ornaments at our house no they're on the special tree that goes in the basement that's where all the star wars ornaments go we have a special tree that we can decorate with all the fun things that don't go on my tree this is a little vase it was a dollar. I used to buy a ton of milk glass. It doesn't sell as well. However, if I find something unique, like show them the, show them the, the base, how it's all scallopy. All right, show, flip it like bottom, then you can see like the, the. Hang on, it's too bright. Can you see it? I just thought the style was really cute. So if I find milk glass and the style is really cute, I will buy it. I already have a pretty big collection in the shop. Although all my little milk glass, remember when I had all those little milk glass faces? Those all sold. So yeah. it's one of those things that if I need it in the shop, if I'm running low, I'll buy more. So milk glass is a pretty good seller. Okay, this was 75 cents, I believe. Just a little horse. It's made to hold a candle. It's a hollow in the top, little rocking horse. It's all ready to go, all Christmas up, all ready. It probably needs a good scrub. If it's not, if, if it's lucky, Jamie will paint it white and then we'll distress those red parts back through. If it's lucky, it's gonna be lucky. I'm gonna paint it white. I have a little <laughs> Christmas house out in the garage that needs to be painted white too. All 80s and 90s Christmas decor, you paint it white, you wet distress, it sells. So I found this in like the wood about this section one. and we're, I was gonna turn like a ton of stuff on the lathe for- Wrong end. For uh, <laughs> For, um, lost my words, ornaments. <laughs> Those things that go in that jar, ornaments. Yeah, the and all the things that Jamie got, the little strings for tying your ornaments on the tree from Ikea. We're gonna probably paint these all up in fun colors. There's all kinds of different shapes of wood and, and just all kinds of fun stuff. I can't even, I'm so excited about it, I can't even talk it. We just saved ourselves a ton of time by finding this. I'm excited. And We're gonna use was... eye hooks and screw them into the top after we've painted them all cool and then we'll get it. We're gonna take those. Well, I was actually thinking because we're gonna have lots of color other places on the tree, those mm -hmm. might all go white. Like chippy white. Like paint spray paint them all black or dark, then spray paint them all chippy white, and then with the red handle, the red ribbon. Oh yeah. That would be really pretty. That's my thought. 
So, so if you far. don't get lucky and find a bag of turned wood at your thrift store, one of the other things I was looking at was old chairs, cheap chairs, like five bucks. Cribs. Oh, cribs too. Cribs. You, you can get Jenny Lynn crib. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and, where you want to go. And you get the spindles and you cut them all up or the legs and you cut them up into fun sizes that'll work and then you paint those, you can use those too. So that's what I was actually looking for. Found this, I'm like, that's way easier than cutting up a chair. Harry says the bowl might be worth somewhere between $45 and $60 but it's vintage. They still make Homer Laughlin but that's vintage. I knew from kind of the design that it was vintage and I just was straight to it and then I flipped it over, saw it was good brand and bought it. All right. This one because it's close to me. It's neither vintage nor antique, but very farmhouse. But we like the shape. And I like the light butter color. This actually might go away till spring because I think January that'd be really like pretty. Like some flowers or mm -hmm. something? Maybe some white cotton or something. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So but, this was two bucks. Yeah. With cotton in it, it'll probably be like 25. 24.95. Okay, so what is this? This is a dollar fifty. Jamie knows. Oh, this is Fire King. It's um, Peach Lusterware Fire King, to be exact, Seth. I know, because I've had it before. I actually <laughs> found three pieces today. I have one peach of Peach Luster in the shop right now. So now I'm going to add these. I just think it's gorgeous. I actually think it's prettier than Pyrex. It's not as collectible, but people that do collect it love it. So I'm going to get it. And Molly has some Peach Luster, too. So maybe we'll just stage them all together. So this one was $1.50. The round ones were $2 each. Oh. Am I selling the Homer Laughlin ball or, key, or bowl or keeping it? I'm selling it because nothing like that would ever survive at my house. I buy my bowls at the dollar store. True story. All right. Bunt pan. Christmas color. We like, we like, are we doing, are we doing this traditional green and red? On our Christmas stuff? No, my green, that's more forest green. My green is more like sage and... Sage green. I mean, I like that green too. I don't know. I just bought it because it was green. I'm trying to bring more green and red into the shop. And I have a little bunt pan display, so... So I picked this one. It's not my favorite. But it was Brittany and Jeff in 2012. It was their first breakfast in bed. It says so right here. It says so. It was so special that they gave it away at the DI. But well, maybe they got divorced. I don't know. Check this out. What? So I may leave the legs on it. I may take them off and just use the tray. I haven't I decided yet. I leave the legs on because in the shop, I'm always looking to layer up. So uh -huh. you could put stuff like in front of it and stuff on top of it. There you go. Okay, legs, legs are staying on. But this will, like that other tray, this will get painted and probably stamped or stenciled, one of the two. Probably stamped because I'm loving the stamps right now. Oh, what is Fire King? It's just vintage dishes, kind of like Pyrex. It's like similar. This was $3. Let me see if I can get you the detail. It's white and really pretty. And Hold it, on. candy Hold dishes on. sell really well. It's so bright. Glass. Sorry, just pull it back. Just pull it back. Hang on, I'm coming around. We'll sneak it up in here so it doesn't like blind it. Oh, some, Donna said it'd be cute to take a bow and make the bunt pan a wreath. That would be cute. I've also seen people put succulents in them. I know Debbie from Debbie's DIY Design Diary just did a bunt pan inside of a pumpkin and did a succulent pumpkin. So I was thinking that would be cute to do that with too. Okay, I'm guessing this is probably for Everybody, someone's sewing room. Everybody says leave the legs on. All right, I'll leave the legs on. Yeah, it's a sewing box. So you put your thread and it's got the cute little drawer and I'm going to um, paint it and then we're gonna use the little knobs that we're stamping tonight and we're gonna put custom knobs on it. And it has a drawer, which is yeah. bonus. Oh, that was $2. Yeah, and that's pretty big. It'll probably sell for $19.95 in the shop once I add two knobs on it. We almost passed on this, but you know, we can't stop picking up ugly roosters. Leave, and... no, leave no rooster behind. And who doesn't need a towel dispenser? Yeah, paper towels all day. Yeah, we could put it at the shop. If nobody buys it, we could just put it in the kitchen. Check out shop. that happy little rooster. He'll stand guard over your paper towels like a champ. I like it. <laughs> all right, what else do we got? We, we got, we got, got another of, rooster. Found a lot of rooster stuff today. This jar is so cute, and I'm just going to clean it and put it in the shop. It's perfect farmhouse style. $2. $2. All right, we're, we're working our way. Okay, so we have two of these stools. This was $2. This was $3. Anytime I don't have to build them, it's perfect. 
Um, and this one I will actually just clean distress and leave black. This one has something cute on the top. It says, this little stool of mine, I use it all the time to reach the things I couldn't and lots of things I shouldn't. But the font's <laughs> kind of weird and it's chippy in a weird way. So it's probably going to get distressed. And I might actually leave it red. Just to give it a little more chippy. Yeah. And clean. <laughs> and some it's of the chippy things for I... Jack. Some, some of the, of the things, things I, I shouldn't. shouldn't. I like this. I found this for $1.50. It's $12.95 all day long. It'll get painted white. I love that it has the tin on the top. I think it's really unique. Yeah. And I feel like you could put a vase inside of it and put fresh flowers would be really beautiful. Okay, we're almost done, guys. We're almost we're to the, the knob stamping. So hold with us because you're going to want to see that. This is next. Zeb, what are you doing with that? I'm just making this thing dance a little. Look at that. You're going to break it. And then where will we put it? All right, that? cue the fun music. Cue the, let's talk about breaking things. Remember last week I found that chalkware horse. It was worth about a hundred bucks in its current condition. It was worth about 40 bucks. I broke it and it was now worth zero dollars. What are you doing, Harrington? May that horse rest in peace. Harrington's coming in for his shout out to his buddies. Pam is my favorite Jamie Ray vintage watcher. Oh, did they put you up to that? <laughs> Watch out for that. <laughs> You know, we like to keep it random around here. We're pretty random. So I, I'm a little low on baskets at the shop and I love this basket. I feel like it's perfect for a coffee table because of the shape. If you have a rectangle coffee table, fill it all with like Christmas greenery. I think it'll get painted white because I'm not a fan of the super light wood. Three but. bucks. So cute. All right, cake plate. We have one in the shop and now we're gonna have two. This one is cool though. I like, I I like, like the how detail. It's... And it used to belong to, wait for it, Strat, S-T-R-A-T-E. If you're missing your cake plate, your husband took it to the thrift store. Just kidding. Strat or straight? Straight, I don't know, S-T-R-A-T-E. Can you guys see that detail in there? I love all the detail, it's five bucks. Uh, we'll sell it for $19.95 in the shop. Just gotta clean it up and get the tape residue off. <laughs> all right. All right, so I have another one of these that we painted white in the shop. So this is gonna be its little partner. This one's a little taller, dollar. Somebody turned this in chop and you know, it's like $8.95 painted. Okay, this is cool. It's carnival glass. It's the Liberty Bell. Can you guys see that it's carnival glass? It's like iridescent almost. Yeah, I'll see if I can get some fun colors going. Yeah, it might wait for a debut in the spring just because it doesn't fit my color scheme, but it was $4. It's got a little chip in it. So it's got a chip in the lid right here that's kind of sharp. So what I'll do on that, when we get stuff, glass that's chipped, that's still usable, what we'll do is we will just take a sander and sand if that. If you want gas money and lunch money this week, when you're done. You go that way. I Harrington pay for all coming in for another strike. I'm not kidding. You come on that screen, that phone's mine. What's up, Dana, Sarah, <laughs> Les? <laughs> it's not that kind of channel, Harrington. <laughs> Uh, so this is a jar. I don't normally buy these, but it's a ball jar and it's square. And it, do you think it has like a brown tint to it? See the Kim. Uh, Kim. A little the bit of a brown tint. tint. So do you, does anybody know anything about ball jars with a slight brown tint? Like how you can see it, it really well down right here on the bottom where it's yeah. thicker. And it's square. Like so, that's not dirty. That's just the, the coloration of the glass where it gets thick. It was a dollar. So I figure worst case. I got a jar, but I think it might be worth something. I don't know. Okay. Lastly, before the stamping, we got some old mailboxes for the side of your house. Or inside your house. One's $2 and the other one's a dollar. And I was super excited because the last time I had one of those sold really fast. I'll spray them white, wet, distress them. I might leave them black. I don't know. But the last one I sprayed white and I think they sold for like $12 or $14.95. This one has a really fun little stamped metal de detail on it here. Yeah, so that's why I want to paint white wet, just dress that back. Okay, we're to the stamping. Woohoo! What you've all been waiting for. Dun, 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 dun. And somebody on one of our videos was like, when are you gonna paint furniture again? We promise there will be furniture. We're just really excited about the stamping. Maybe we'll stamp furniture, I don't know. Well, we've got a lot of Christmas stuff we need to get through. So it's gonna be a little bit before we get back to doing big we furniture. We have to craft Christmas. So we figured you might as well come along with us, right? Yeah. But right now we're stamping. So this is called the Flexi Stamper, made by the sweet ladies at IOD. We have these in stock on our website. It comes in two pieces. And the way this works is you put this in like this 
You put the stamp on it and then you can put the knob in the hole and stamp it. It's flexible. We haven't actually done it before ever and jo Sally and Josie don't like it when we do things live, but that's okay. This is how we roll though. You guys, I mean, you're used to us not being perfect the first time we try something well, out. Well, and the other thing is, if you guys know that we haven't done it before and if we can do it, then you know you can do it too because... Oh, I gotta run grab the knobs. Zeb painted the knobs, they're drying. We painted some wood knobs white. Now these are not the wooden knobs that we're going to be carrying. These are just some cheap ones that we had on hand. We are carrying IOD wooden knobs and they have like threading in them and they're very well detailed. These are more boring, but for the purposes being our IOD knobs are gonna be here like Tuesday or Wednesday. So we're using what we got. Well, and the IOD knobs have more detail on them. So if you get these stamps, it comes with a whole sheet of these round ones. You've got big stamps on the top, little stamps on the bottom. You can also, I'm going to hold this backwards because then it'll be forwards on your end. Sure. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but you can also layer them. Like there's a grain sack one, so you could do grain sack in one color and then, you know, the text in another color. We're just going to do the stone gray ink, which we haven't ever used ink before either, so you're going to see the first time. Do you want to poke that camera down? Yep. We're going to come down for the camera, so we're going to go to the, uh, the Zeb and Jamie hand puppet oh. show. We need to get, would you go in the cabinet there and grab the sander? Does Harrington stamp? Harrington says he's not allowed to touch anything. Harrington doesn't stamp because Harrington does not like our design. Found that same ball on Etsy selling for 20 bucks. So I guess I did good. All right, so we've got this stamp. Just doing a little light seasoning. This is 220 grit, just real careful going over it. You don't want to go hard. You don't want to take off any of the detail or anything. Just get that shiny rubber bit from, from manufacturing off so that it holds the paint or your media, your ink real well. Julie says our kids need to have their own channel so we don't have to read their nonsense. <laughs> they would still harass us. If you have kids, you'd, you'd understand. So we're going to put a little bit of the stone gray ink on here. Not a ton. If you, we're gonna have ink pads soon from IOD, but in the meantime, these are from Ikea and they're like $1.99 silicone mats. I think we need a little more than this. Maha says, why are you sanding the stamps? It's so that way it gives them a little tooth so they like adhere the, so norm the ink adheres better. Yeah, so normally we would have a stamp pad. We're waiting on those, so we're just going here on this silicone and you mat. Don't, well, and you don't have to have a stamp pad. You just have to have something that you can roll your brayer on. Yeah. So. You got one loaded up and ready for me? So you put the stamp on, which, that's a big one? Mm-hmm. Which one do we want to use? Okay, we'll use, we'll use this one. I don't know what this says. This says De France or something. It's right. got some words on it. Let Put me, that in the big hole. Let me line this up. And the rubber sticks to the rubber pretty well. You want to just... What happens if you don't sand the stamps? Um, nothing happens. It just yeah. helps the. It just helps them stamp even better. It wouldn't be the end of the world. I've used them without sanding them before. It's so you can kind of see how it's a little flexible there. You can see how I'm pushing that out. That is the beauty of this system. Did you put that on the right way? Yes, it's on the right way. There's not a there's not a wrong way. No, so, no, no, it is wrong. What See, are you talking about? Doesn't this go on this side because you push the stamp? Oh, or does it? No, it goes this way. Because the stamp, right, this has to go. Are you sure? Yeah, it has to go. No? Because if you go this way. We'll try it both ways. Josie and Sally are going to pop on and be no, like, No, if you do no. it, no, I think if you do it the other way, won't it push the stamp off? But that doesn't look right either. No, 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 It's it goes the other way. I was right. So when you get, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jamie got confused for a second. It's okay, I was paying very close attention for this part of the training. Okay, so you're going to take this stamp when you put the ink on it, so this is important, and push it up. Yeah, I just showed them that. I think that we have this the wrong way. Sorry guys, I promise you, we're gonna have a full video where we've actually <laughs> practiced. We just opened these tonight because they just came in the mail. Nope, that's not it. Here. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, now I, we had it confused. set. We had it set up right, and then Jamie got excited. Is what happened. All right. So the, this is not stuck on there. It's just stick, and then you poke it up. Would a you stop? Bit. 
Would you stop putting it on crooked? Okay, I'm just gonna let you do it. Yeah, let me do it. Okay, hang on, I'm just putting the stamp back on here. The mat is beautiful, right guys? It looks great on camera. Zeb's gonna show you so you won't be confused. You got it all dirty, so now it might not stick. I got it all dirty? Mm-hmm. Like the, the stamp or the stamp sticker? The backers of everything. You, you took it on and off too much oh, without cleaning it. You wanna keep it. it clean. Okay, so I got it here. I'm just pushing it up with my fingers a little bit. So that way we can get the ink on the... Getting the ink on the stamp. All right. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> I hope you are. So ink, people ask like, should you use ink? Should you use paint? Ink is gonna give you a more detailed impression. Paint is going to be a little bit less detailed. Yeah, that turned out perfect. Good job. So you guys see it's got like the writing in the middle and then it's got the, the like French words over the top. That one's fun. Let's do a different one. Okay. Let's do the butterfly. You know, I'm thinking, what do you think? I'm thinking we did have it on wrong. Hang on, I'm gonna wash this real quick. Janet says practice before you demonstrate. When we do edited videos, we do practice. Live videos, sometimes you get the first time. But the good news is you can kind of see our thought process and then if we screw up, then you know not to do what we did. It actually is fairly easy because we've never done it before and it turned out perfectly. And you can also layer them and do different colors. You can also use them with gold leaf. We've seen, it's really cool. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try the back of this. I think it'll be easier to apply the stamp, the ink as well. Hey, Molly's on here. Hi, Molly. Molly was just live at Ikea. Molly, what happened to your live feed? Did they turn it off because of the music in the background? Because I was watching you and all of a sudden you were gone on Instagram. Did I spray the knobs or paint them? We sprayed the knobs because it's faster. You can brush them. You can brush them though. I mean, they're wood, so the paint sticks really well. Okay. With the ink, you have a little bit more time than with the paint. The paint, you don't have as much time. The ink doesn't dry out as fast. Okay, once you get it on there, you gotta commit. You can't slide it around. That's important, I know that. Cute. Butterfly knob. All right, so I need two knobs for that sewing cabinet. So let me see, you wanna do a little knob? Yeah, let's do a little one. Oh, there was a one that I, oh, this one is so cute. It's a house, guys. I'm gonna show you the. So I feel like it worked better to do it on the flat side here and push up through. Okay. Just saying. So this is a little house here. Well, before we do our edited video, we'll make sure it's perfect. Yeah, but, we'll do like a whole dresser and all kinds of fun But stuff. here's the little house one. Let's do a little knob. Because yeah. I think house knobs would be really cute. It's a little cottage. It'd be perfect for that sewing cabinet. So I need two like that. And this is a stone gray ink. And I like it because it's not as harsh as the black. It's like a charcoal, like super dark gray. So the nice thing about... What size knobs do we use? Um, I actually don't know the measurements on these. Um, but it looks you, like about a one inch and a quarter and three quarters of an inch. So the ones we sell online are inch and a quarter and inch, I believe. Caitlin, correct me if we're wrong. And the ones that we sell are actually the size is made specifically to go with the knob toppers. They're from IOD. They're much better made than these knobs. These are just like the cheap Home Depot ones. Yeah. The cool thing about this is once you get the system and you've got the flexi stamper and you've got the knob kit, the options are endless. That house is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm going to house stamp all the things. So the really cool thing about this stamper, like if you were trying to freehand that, that probably would be fairly tough to get it even on there, is it flexes up through, right? We've been demonstrating that, but it's also got a grid on here, so it's really easy to line things up. Yeah, that's what's really cool about it. So you can buy the knob toppers and then just do it by hand. But this Flexi Stamper was specifically made for knobs because it's kind of irritating to get the stamp just right and around all the edges. So it's made for it. Sally and Josie from IOD really did their homework on that. And it also helps if you put the white knob on a dark surface, you can see where you're stamping. You can do all kinds of colors. I mean, how many stamps are in a kit? Um, 62? Do you want to count them real quick? Yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So those are the three we've done. Just kind of a fun new system we've got. We, we literally just got it in. Yeah, there's 62 in there. And they're going to come out with different stamp kits. So like in the spring, you'll get different knob toppers. So you'll have lots more options. Can you do this wreath one? I think yeah. the wreath is really darling. I'll do the wreath real quick and then I'll show you guys. Yeah, you can do them on larger wood knobs too. Because sometimes larger wood knobs, um, you, you have just a design in the middle. And it, there's two sizes on here. So you can fit, if the knob fits in the hole, then... You're good. Yep. And if your if your backer ever gets dirty or it's not sticking well, just wash it. Yeah. If it. if the mount gets dirty, just wash it. Just water works really well. If it's if it's got grease, maybe some degreasing dish soap, something non abrasive. Something non abrasive, non harsh, just like some light soap and water will clean it right up. Oh, Deb, you got a little bit in the middle there. You're gonna oh. get that on your stamp. Um, I was going to say something, I can't remember. Oh, if you're just tuning in, you can pick up the Flexi Stamper, the Knob Topper, the Brayer, which is this, and the ink at jamierayvintage.com. Oh, that one's good, too. Melissa says my bangs look good. Thanks. I think they're ready for a trim. My sister-in-law's coming, and she's not coming to visit me, but she's coming up here, and I'm hoping she takes pity on me and trims my bangs. Um, before we go, do you want to talk about the group, the Facebook group? Oh, yeah. So we have a Facebook group. It's called the Jamie Ray Vintage Group. And on that group, people can share the product projects that they are working on, ask questions about the projects, ask us ideas. And it's really great. So if you haven't joined the Jamie Ray Vintage Facebook group, we would love for you to join. And then the other thing we need your help with, guys, for whatever reason right now, our channel is down on views. Every two days, we're down by like half of what we were getting a month ago. So if you like our videos, if you can share them, that would be amazing. That would help us out a ton. Also, if you are on Instagram or Facebook and you follow Jamie Ray Vintage, if you see our posts, be sure to like and comment. It really helps us out a ton. Let me show them all the knobs. The lights are too bright. I'm going to get close and see if it tones it back. <laughs> but just fun, fun little stuff. There's so many designs. I'm going to bring them close so you guys can see them. To get the paint of dose, it needs soup. I don't know what that means. Yeah, so Donna says she loves the house knobs, so he's going to show you all of them. Actually, if you show them on the back, it'll show what they look like in the China Blue ink. Oh, this is the China we Blue ink. We also carry the China Blue ink. So this is, I think, all of them, but... Yeah, these are all that we offer right now. I just think it's great because I'm always looking for tools that, you know, people that are doing projects for their house or furniture flippers are spending a lot of money on hardware. And this is something you make the investment and then you can use it over and over and over again. And you can buy our knobs or you can buy knobs at, knobs at the hardware store. The ones that we're carrying from IOD are definitely a lot nicer, but you could use them on if you take knobs off of old pieces, like if you've got a whole yeah. drawer full of knobs, which we do in the garage. You can repurpose them, paint them all to match, stamp them the way you need, and you don't have to spend, you know, sometimes I spend upwards of $50. Oh, knobs, knobs are ridiculously expensive. Or to, if you want to make like a coat rack and you have to buy hardware for it. So yeah. this is definitely a less expensive way to do that. I mean, so even, even the knobs half off at Hobby Lobby are usually like three, four dollars a knob. Yeah. And this is much less expensive and you can customize it to fit your project. So definitely check out jamierayvintage.com. We have everything that IOD carries, including all the pre-order stuff. And you can pick up your paint. These are painted in white swan, in case you're wondering. And then once they're dry, you can either use a clear wax or seal them with a liquid sealer. We will probably spray these um, spray with everything. top coat out of our spray gun. But you could definitely just use like a wax on them would be fine. Yeah. Well, and the possibilities with these are, it's just like the stance. I mean, if you can get this, you could do the reverse. You could go black with like a white and make it look more like a chalkboard or... I mean, blue with white and yeah. white with blue, it's, you could go wherever you want with They've this. They've asked if we've done them with paint yet. I haven't done them yet, but I have used the IOD stamps with paint all the time, and it works great. So I can imagine that this will look really good with this paint, too, because the paint will make it look kind of hand-painted. Yeah. Where this makes it look a little bit more like a pressed at a, at a factory. Yeah, once this gets sealed, it's going to look Like more, a factory finish. Yeah. With, so the, the stamp, the paint gives it a little bit more of a hand painted look. So it depends on what you're going for. All right, and guys. Dark, somebody said dark knobs, white yeah. paint. You can make them look like little chalkboard knobs. 
Yeah. If you painted them black and used white paint, that'd be cute. I love it. All right, guys, we are going to call it a night. I gotta, I gotta put all this stuff up somewhere where it won't break till we can paint oh, it. Oh, we have something exciting. The most exciting thing we picked. We haven't even showed it to him. What? Hold on, hold on, guys. Well, I mean, exciting to me. Oh. <laughs> Last thing, if you dove off, I guess, I guess you're too late. You'll have to watch the replay. One more thing we forgot about. So I picked up this nativity at the thrift store. Deb, you want to move that? Yep. For eight dollars, and my process was. My thought process was I was going to spray it white because I thought, wouldn't that be darling? But yeah, then when I down. got it to the car, I looked at the bottom of the nativity and it says Royal Dalton. And I looked it up and apparently Royal Dalton is worth some money. This set on eBay, now I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know, but this set on eBay retails for $150. And it's a 2005 set of Royal Dalton, if all 12 pieces are here are in good shape. So there's one. Oh, we've got a little bit of chipping. Not bad. A little bit of scratching on this one. I still feel like even if it's not in perfect condition, it's worth something. We'll, look, we'll do the research. Here's Mary. If it's not worth anything, if it's not in perfect condition, then maybe I'll do my original idea. There's Mary. I don't know if this is all the pieces. See. Well, we've this got a, a lot wise, of the, Here's a wise man. We've this got a Joseph, lot of the pieces. Look, we've he's got missing, a shepherd. He's missing his staff. I feel like we can figure that out. Shepherd here, yeah. Zeb can make a staff. And we got the baby Jesus, most most important part of the set. He's taped in, so it looks like that's a two-piece. It's a two for yeah. Baby Jesus is separate. This is the classic nativity by Royal Dalton. So the cool thing is these are all hand painted, which is kind of fun. So this is another wise man. So we've got the complete set of wise men here. And I don't think we have a sheep, but the shepherd is holding one. And we've got a camel and a donkey. And most importantly, the donkey has its ears. Our donkey that's in our set does not have its ears. And this is, now this I don't know, this cloche does not say Royal Dalton on the bottom, but it looks like it goes with a set. Mm, I'd actually say I think it looks different. Maybe it's different. Um, this, we'll have to look it up. It might be different, but the angel does have both her wings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So originally the set had 12 pieces. So it might not be worth as much. However, somebody who collects Royal Dalton or <clears throat> has a broken piece might be excited about it. Sorry, I'm getting all kinds of... I've been talking a lot. <laughs> Should have packed better. So everybody says, keep as is, don't paint. Everybody says, don't paint Royal Dalton. Yes, I know the universe doesn't provide Jesus Christ does, but he made the universe. So it's, I'm saying the same thing. Yes. I won't paint it because it is Royal Dalton. I haven't decided if I'll put it in the shop or if I'll sell it on eBay. I don't know. I don't, I just was really excited because it was $8 and I got the whole set. So I'll have to find another less valuable nativity and paint that white because I think it'd be really pretty. Yeah. So. All, All right. right well, thanks, it. thanks for hanging out tonight with us guys. Love you. If you're not subscribed, hit the button. Hit the notification button so you don't miss all of our Christmas DIYs we have coming up. Goodbye, lass. Harrington says bye. <laughs>